how to help the homeless, how not to interact with celebrities, and how to avoid an awkward Christmas. Here's all the handy tips you missed on MTV News Unfiltered this week. The area between a celebrity's personal and public life is grey. On one hand, they know fans are highly invested in the details of their personal lives and daily breakfast routines. On the other, there are some lines that just shouldn't be crossed, ever. For anyone in doubt, here's a handy guide on how not to interact with celebrities. Number one, don't abuse them online. Pete Davidson recently deleted all his social media accounts amid concerns for his mental health. The star's been subjected to months of online abuse after his breakup with Ariana, and the statements he's posted are proof of the detrimental effect online hate can have on someone's mental health. Number two, seriously. Don't abuse them online. Cardi B recently came to her ex Offset's defense after he crashed her set at Rolling Loud Festival to beg her to come back. And look, interrupting your ex at work under the guise of a romantic gesture is a bad, toxic thing to do. But there's calling out problematic behavior in a critical, considered way, then there's abuse. The former do, the latter don't. Number three. Don't visit their house. YouTuber James Charles made headlines after he tweeted, Please stop showing up at my house. It is extremely disrespectful and makes me feel very unsafe in my own home. Respect people's privacy. It's really not that hard. And finally, number four. Don't abuse anyone online. Got it? Good. Love Island had its Christmas reunion last night. And like all festive gatherings with your extended family that you can't quite remember how you ever liked, things got awkward. Almost as awkward as the Christmas dinner you have to attend will be. Here are five tips on how to survive. Number one, Christmas dinner is delicious. I don't care if the sprouts are overbroiled or you saw little baby Mike do his entire slobbery fist in the custard. Someone's braved the supermarket on Christmas Eve and suffered three minor gravy burns for this. It is delicious. Eat it and shut up. Number two. <laughs> And breathe. Number three, literally the only certain thing about Brexit is that someone is going to bring it up over Christmas dinner. It is going to happen. I am sorry. Lest you want your sister to deck Uncle Jim for his backwards views on immigration, just throw a glass on the floor to distract everyone. Blame it on the cat. Or just let your sister deck Uncle Jim. Whatever. Number four, one of the best things about Christmas is presents. Don't at me. One of the worst things about Christmas is opening presents in front of everyone. Practice your reactions accordingly. The Oh my god, how ever did you know I wanted some headphones? Oh, did I accidentally put it in your Amazon basket? The Thanks, Nan, another potpourri. How ever did you know? The Everyone always needs socks. Everyone always needs socks. Number five. Let it go. Just, just, just let it go. Around 236,000 people in the UK are homeless, according to the charity Crisis. They've just released a new survey which shows that while the majority of Britons are concerned about homelessness, around 70% of people feel powerless to help. The underlying causes of homelessness need actual policy change to fix, as Crisis note. But there are still a number of small things you can do to help if you see someone sleeping rough. Here's Hannah from Crisis to explain. As temperatures plummet, people can face extreme dangers. So if you do see someone sleeping rough and you want to help them, then do stop and have a conversation with somebody. You can also ask them whether or not there's anything that they need to eat or drink, or if you have any spare change, then you can give them that as well. You can also reserve a place for somebody at one of our crisis at Christmas centers, and those centers provide people with a warm, safe space for them to sleep. We also provide people with clothing uh, and with hot meals, but we also, crucially, provide people with advice and support to link them into our all year round services so that we can begin to end their homelessness for good. There's also an app called Streetlink that lets members of the public, like you, connect those sleeping rough with people that can help. All you do is go on the app or website and send an alert to Streetlink, which will notify local authorities or services. This is especially important in the winter. So whether it's buying someone a Christmas meal or just stopping for a chat, remember there is a number of things you can do to help the homeless. 